Welcome to the spoken tutorial on content management in admin interface. In this tutorial, we will explore the Drupal interface. We will also learn about some menu items such as content, structure and appearance. To record this tutorial, I am using Ubuntu operating system, Drupal 8, and Firefox web browser. You can use any web browser as per your choice. Let us open our website which we created earlier. Before we explore the Drupal interface in detail, let me highlight a few really important terms. Remember, because we set up our Drupal site, we are the user number one or the super user. Super user is above all other users in Drupal. We may set up some other administrators who have all the permissions in the future. But those permissions also can be revoked or managed by the super user. The super user's permission can never be revoked. In other words, super user has access to every area of the Drupal site. Remember, User number 1 is the super user in any Drupal site. This is the administrative toolbar. When we click on manage, we are taken to the submenu. Here, we can see content, structure, appearance, etc. And we will look at them in a little while. If we click on shortcuts, there is a shortcuts toolbar here. Again, we will look at it in a few minutes. When we click on admin, we can see the links to our own profile or to logout. It is called admin in the toolbar because that is the username I put in. Yours may be different. Once again, this is the administration toolbar and it is an important part of our Drupal administration experience. It is quite simple to add something to the shortcut bar. For example, say I am in manage content, add content and I want to add an article to my website. Notice a star here that isn't filled in. By clicking on the star, I can add it to the shortcuts. Now, if we click on shortcuts, we will see a create article menu item in the shortcuts. And we can easily remove it when we have finished creating articles. This can be done from virtually any administration screen on our Drupal site. Shortcuts make it really quick to move around. Now, let me click on appearance. Notice that there are tabs and these kind of tabs will appear all over the site. These tabs are important and they are called section tabs. They look at different sections of whatever screen we might be working on. Sometimes these sections have subsection buttons like the ones you are seeing here. Global settings, bar tech, Classy and 7 are the subsection buttons of the settings tab. Lastly, every Drupal content item is called a node. We don't have any nodes or any content yet on our site. We will be creating those in upcoming tutorials. Administration toolbar, submenu, section tabs and subsection buttons. These are some things you will need to know as we move through the Drupal interface. Let us take a look at the content link in our toolbar. When we click on content, we are directed to a dashboard. The dashboard lays out all the content on the site. We can filter by published or unpublished. We can filter by content type also or we can search by any title and choose any language. 
Since we do not have content yet, this page is a little limited. If we click on the sub tabs here, we can see that there are no comments so far. And if we click on the word files, we will get a listing of all the files that have been uploaded so far. These could be either an image or some kind of file. We will learn about them later. Let's click on add content and add a welcome article to our home page. Click on article. Let us type welcome to Drupalville. The name of our site is Drupalville. And it is going to give us all kinds of information about Drupal. In the body, we'll type something like, Welcome to our site. We are so glad you stopped by. Now, we will not go into all the fields. We will cover that in later tutorials. But in the tags, we will put, Welcome Drupal. This will create links to a list of all articles that we give these tags. We can also upload an image here. I have already downloaded and saved a Drupal 8 logo on my machine. For your convenience, the Drupal 8 logo has been provided in the code files link in the web page of this tutorial. Please download and use it. Click browse and locate the saved image. Notice that as soon as we upload it, Drupal asks for an alternative text which is required. The little red asterisk indicates that it's mandatory. Alternative text is what screen readers see and blind people hear and what Google finds when it looks at our site. Type, this is the Drupal 8 logo. Now click save and publish. We have just created our very first node on our new Drupal site. Now, when we click on content, the node is listed. The title, content type, who created it, the status of the node, the last update time. And some operations that we can do like edit, delete, etc. We will be learning about them soon. That's the content in our administrative toolbar. The next link on the administrative toolbar is structure. Let's click on that. Structure is where we build our site in Drupal. It is also called as site building. There are a number of things here. Block layout, comment types, contact forms, content types, display modes, menus, taxonomy, views. These options tell us that most of our site building is done in structure and content menu items. For now, let's click on block layout. We can place blocks in a variety of areas in our site based on our theme. We will cover it in more detail later. Click on custom block library and let's add a welcome block. Click on add custom block and let's call it welcome to Drupalville. In the body, type welcome to Drupalville. This is where you will learn all about Drupal. Please note, this is not content. Blocks are a little bit different and are like the sidebars. Now let's click save. We have our block and now we can decide where to place it. Click on block layout again. Scroll down to sidebar first. And click place block. A pop-up window of all the blocks that are available to be placed on our Drupal site appears. Locate the custom block we created. Welcome to Drupalville. Then click on place block. There are some restrictions here which we will learn about in another tutorial. For now, 
click on save block. Let's go to our home page and we should see welcome to Drupalville. It may not be in the order we want or in the location we want it right now, but that's okay. This is the part of the site building process in the structure menu item. Let us click on the next item on our administration toolbar, that is appearance. This gives us an overview of all the themes that are available for our Drupal site. It also gives us the ability to check for update and do global settings. For now, let's click on settings for Partech. This is where we will manage the look and feel of our site depending upon the theme we have selected. We can update the color scheme here for Batik by choosing a different one. Or even manually choose the colors on our own. This will give us a preview. We can also toggle the display for some of these on our site. Scroll back to the top and click on global settings. Here we can change the logo of our site, give it a custom path or even upload a new one. What will happen if we click save without uploading a new one? Go back to our site and we will notice that the logo has gone. To bring it back again, click on appearance then settings and global settings. Click on use the default logo and click save configuration. Now, no matter how many pages we have on our site, our logo will appear on all the page. That's where we manage the themes for our Drupal site under the appearance tab. With this, we come to the end of this tutorial. Let us summarize. In this tutorial, we have learned to navigate our Drupal interface. We have also learned about menu items, content, structure and appearance. This video is adapted from Acquia and OS training and revised by Spoken Tutorial Project, IIT Bombay. The video at this link summarizes the Spoken Tutorial Project. Please download and watch it. The Spoken Tutorial Project team conducts workshops and gives certificates. For more details, please write to us. Spoken Tutorial Project is funded by NME ICT, Ministry of Human Resource Development and NVLI, Ministry of Culture, Government of India. This is Calvin Nikhil Tommy signing off. Thanks for joining.